Morning everyone! Maganda umaga sa inyong lahat. And today is, um, I said that I will be discussing um, different activities, di ba? Sabi ko, we discuss in mga different activities in language literature assessment. Kaya nga lang, I don't think we have enough time. And I think you have a lot of things to do. So I will just be pre-recording this activity. Okay? So I think at least matapos tayo ngayon. Dapat sana hindi, but... I will finish the lesson now. So, let's begin. Um, wait. I will also upload another video later. Okay? So, this is the language and literature assessment. So, we are already done with some activities before. So, now we will have the finishing touches. Okay. Very, very last. Na to. Okay. So, don't worry. This will be short. Like me. Short and cute like me. Okay, so I'll be presenting my screen now so that you have problems. Okay, so let's begin. So unit nine of the testing literature. Last time I have we have a lot of tests. So testing mechanics, it's sort of testing writing, testing general. So now we will have literature. Literature is a big part of every English class. Kasi may history na yan. And um, until ang literature mula basic ed hanggang college, tertiary level. So meron tayong different literature because it's part of the history. So as an English teacher, we, this, uh, we need to test these things. So there are different five um, literary tests that you remember when you were elementary to college. So I will give, of course. Sa kuting ko yung sarili kung pano. Um, my favorite, of course, the literary text. Number one, then first one, the Lolo Mitanghele. Second one is El Tilibus Terismo. So those two. Um, I also love. Literature natin ko. I love Beowulf. Okay, tonto ako sa Beowulf na yan. Um, so Canterbury, Canterbury Tales, dun sa part ng uh, Kela Absalon, okay, sa so, The Carpenter Ata, okay, so yun. And sa so, Philippine, ah, Greek mythology, of course, everything around the Greek mythology. So those are the different, um, the best, um, the best thing about uh, Greek mythology, yung pinakagusto ko doon, is the story of um, Odyssey. Yes, Odyssey. Hindi pala. Hindi pala siya Greek. So, Roman na pala siya. So, Odyssey na siya. Okay. So, those are the, those are the favorite literary texts that I really love. I really love those things. Kasi alam na alam ako dun sa story na yun. And every time that I'm sharing those stories, I'm very happy. I'm very excited every time. So, now... Um, Nung article written by Stern, 1787, she said that literature could help students master the vocabulary and grammar of a language. And the four language skills, it can also promote reading comprehension by presenting unique challenges to readers that demand their learning to exp uh, practice specific learning strategies, reading strategies. Actually, this kind of literary text, I, um, there, there would always be uh, an activity. Uh, di ba, if you remember, lahat ng libro na text na English, especially if uh, English, hindi yung reading lang, hindi yung ano, they will start with a text. Afterwards, dun makukuha yung four macro skills. Dun ni test yung uh, pitch, uh, reading, uh, di ba, first, some skills like speaking, um, yun, so ganun yun ang niyari. And then also grammar. So ang lagi nilang springboard for everything is literature. Because literature is a classic. And aside from that, it will really help the students yung naintindihan nila dun. Tapos yun yung gagamitin mo para dun sa next learning. It will be easier for them. Kasi they already have the background. And they could understand the story, the context, because of the story. There are different types of litera literature tests. Ito yung gusto kong gawin nyo sa um in your exam so one is we have the testing liter of literary background so para natin sinecheck yo we have historical background and literary devices so sa historical background dun natin makikita um history books like 
yun nga, sa Noli and El Fili, some their historical background. So, the testing of literary background, makikita natin doon, we could say, we could see that the, the author wrote something that has something to do with the past. A ano siya, we? Um, ang kagandahan sa testing historical background is that the authors could just be um, I, the readers, the readers could just be um, no some past time, mga different things that happened in the past. Aside from that, yung mga reading, some reading articles din, has something to do with the past. Literary devices is also part of testing literary background. Ano, may fast forward, may mga flashback. So, those are the different literary devices. Marami pang iba. Testing reading selections. Ayan. So, ano, of course, the literary comprehension. Literary comprehension. Recall of details, I mean, ideas. So, tinitest natin, literature test ang tawag doon. Kapag tinitest natin yung mga um, comparisons, cause and effect, character traits, facts and opinions. So, kasama yun sa lit uh, testing, reading, selection. So, magpapresent ka ng isang literary test, ay, isang text, and then you will ask the students na what is the, uh, who is, what is, why is, where is, ayan. Reorganization naman is you will use the literary text, tapos you will ask to summarize or outline some events. Ayun. So, kasama yun. Next is inferential comprehension. So, um, when you will use the ref uh, you will use this text a little dito. For example, uh, main idea, comparison, cause and effect relationship, character traits, author's organization. So, inferential comprehension yun. Inferential comprehension. Kung kanina, dito sa testing reading selections, mas ano lang siya, kung ano yung naintindihan. But rather, ang ito naman is deeper ng konti. Kasi, you will check, uh, you will know what is the what is the main thought. Bakit sinulat yun? Okay? So, what will happen next? And mas malalim siya compared dito sa testing reading selection. Kasi mababaw lang siya, dun lang sa just the text. But rather, this one is you were inferential comprehension. The, the, the student is asked to read beyond the lines. Kaya nga tinitignan dito yung different character traits. Oh, for example, oh, ayan. For example, character traits. Um, in testing reading selection, you will just ask, who is the main character of the story? Okay, so it's so that ni Barbara. Okay, but when it comes to character traits, you will ask, you could ask, why is it that um, this character is very broken. Why do you think this character um, is ganito ganyan? Representation. Ayun, medyo mas malalim siya. Uh, figurative language, of course. Uh, I know nahihirapan kayo sa figurative language kasi sino ba namang hindi. So, uh, there, but, 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 um, some students, uh, some scholars, it's easy for them to understand figurative language kasi they are already in that context. They understand context. Next one is evaluation. So, judgment. Um, reality versus fantasy, fact or opinion, adequacy, validity, appropriateness. So, you evaluate my literature test. Nila. Next one is appreciation. Of course, it is appreciation to the text, identifying with characters or incidents, reactor to the author's speaking language. So, na appreciate mo siya. The culture, nandun. So, here are some different um, sample tests in a uh, literal comprehension. One, uh, one, identify characters who say, so literal comprehension. Uh, you will identify the characters who said the following stories. Rearrange the order of events. Okay, so testing comprehension. Yan. So, pag reorganization naman, sample, right? One paragraph, outline, construct a topic outline, for example, yun. Among inference naman, this requires the students to use information explicitly and started text along with personal. So, for example, um, read a selection, then answer the questions that follow. So, we bigay dito, uh, ito actually, itong testing inference na to, ay nakuha ko to dun sa ano to, 
SRI. Okay, so mga SRI. So, read the selection, then answer. September 8, 1998, Cardinal Slugger Mac McGuire hit his 62nd home run of the season. In doing so, he broke Roger Maris' record, which stood for 37 years. McGuire went in, uh, on to hit a total of 70 home runs. The 66 home, words, home runs founded by the club Sammy Sosa that same year would have been record-breaking to end another season. So what inference can you make? Uh, as a uh, Macquarie is a bas baseball player. So you could say that he is very great. He's talented. Ha? Huh? Bakit mo nasabi yung ma? Bakit siya naging talented? Wala namang makalagay. You will infer. Kasi biruin mo. In this in this story, 62nd home run for one season. And also, he broke a record that stood up for 37 years. And we could also say that Roger Maris is very good. Pero at the end, the, dun lang nagkaroon ng uh, after 37 years, someone break the record. When someone breaks a record, and it's for 37 years, it means that this someone is legendary. Okay, so imagine, uh, went on, hit 70 home runs. Diba? So 66 home runs lang si Sammy Sosa. Diba? So you can see, um, I mean, uh, 70 home runs, 66 uh, record, basta, yun. so you could see. Yun yung inference. Hindi mo sinabi kung ano siya, but rather, based on that, what would you infer? Okay. So it has a critical judgment. Kailangan talaga very critical judgment. Testing evaluation naman, so, ah, fact or opinion. Complete of organization details. So, alin dito yung fact, alin yung opinion. Pag sinabi yung fact, sure ka, this is a statement, researchable siya. Pag opinion, may mga words like maybe, I think, yung mga ganon. So, some examples. Appreciation naman, reacting to the author's canonative language. Select the best canonative meaning of the underlined words. So, this is an example of testing appreciation. And what does literature test measure? So, we have this one. Okay. So, one, literary terms. Epic, sonnet, tragedy, comedy. Ayan yung mga different literary terms. Literary concepts, archetype, magical realism, binary opposition. Ayan, figures. Ayan. So I think this is self-explanatory. Um, ayan, literary interpretation. Yun. Literary information, sample test. Okay, so ayan. Madali na rin yan. Okay, criteria for making effective literature test. One. Who is excellent? Uh, example of the literary competence. Okay. Ito yung mga criteria. So you will like see the um, example of literary competence, literary scholar, poet, reader, cultural, informed reader, competent language user. So example. Okay. What are the kinds of skills of knowledge that you want uh, will be demonstrated by the target competence? Are expected to the students to do successfully? How are areas of skills knowledge tested? What is the knowledge for selecting the test? And what are the relationship skills being tested for mirrors? So, yun yung mga different um, criteria for making an effective literature test. Basta, um, in, in general terms na lang natin, ito lang yun. When you make, a, uh, when you make an effective literature test, you must, of course, remember, uh, we think of the students. What, what skills do you want? Ano yung gusto mong i-test? Ano ba yung dapat i-test? Okay? So, what kind of test you think your students needs? Ano ba yung tinuro? Okay. What is the book says? What is the call? Uh, the, what, what you will know you as a teacher. Okay? And um, guidelines for test tech, uh, choosing text for the literature test. One, this text may be either seen or unseen. Two texts may be extra or full length. So, ano yun? Guidelines choosing. Baka mamaya, um, yung text na inano mo is not appropriate. Okay? The text uh, either may be extracts or full length. For example, ano bang klaseng test yan? Papatest mo ba sa kanila yung ano lang, yung parang part lang, summary. Okay. The text should be exemplify each genre. Kasi magkakaiba yan eh. Yung poem, essay, short story, novel, drama. Magkakaiba sila ng paano i-analyze. 
The text should be representative um, of the selected themes, topics, and issues. So, nakadepende yan sa inyo, sa gusto mong ituro, tsaka sa required mong ituro. The text should match examinist cognitive level. Do not give it too much. Next is the text must not be short nor long. It should be answerable within the allotted period. So, kailangan kaya siyang sagutin in the allotted period. So, there are skills and tasks in a literature test. One, appreciating information in openings, how an author sets the theme. Ano yung pwede mong task na gawin doon? It could um, have this one. What can the story base on the opening? Uh, so the paragraphs, okay, so isa yun. So you will select in the beginning of um, the information. So makikita mo kung dun sa may part ng theme part. Okay, appreciating how a dialogue operates, what it reveals about the character. So, um, you could rewrite the dialogues using, ito yung task mismo ah, using uh, change conversation and discuss the effects of the story. So, um, i-analyze yung mga dialogues ng mga character. Recognizing the tone of the text, uh, so you could have compared, you could ask the students to compare two texts. So, you could have, um, and you will ask them afterwards to identify ano yung nagiging effect niya sa reader tsaka sa other characters. Next is recognizing the development of sequence of plot. So, you will arrange events to come up with a plot, compare two different stories, and discuss the similarity of the different plot. Okay, so makikita natin. I-analyze yeah, yan. Analyze, analyze. Uh, you're recognizing the characteristics of the short story, identify the elements of the short story, discuss each element. Okay, kasama yun. Nung mismo story. So, there are different elements of story to discuss this story. Recognize the role of setting in the story. So, the setting, time, and place. Kasi magkakadugtong din dalawang yun. When developing empathy with a uh, situation of the characters. So, what are what will you do? Sabi mo sa studyante, what will you do uh, if it happens to you? O, oh, yun. Kasama yun. And responding to the style of the author. So, um... You could check uh, what are the different texts of the same author. You justify my choice niya. Bakit kaya ganun yung ginawa? You will ask the students to do so. And different skills and tasks in a literature test. So, essentially, ako medyo mabilis at medyo magulo. Um, but in general, uh, what I want you to do is focus on um, this one. This one, importante yan. What does a literature test measure? Um, and also this one, literature test. Okay. So, then na lang kayo mag-focus. So, that's it for today. I, this is the last activity natin. By the way, I'll be up. Okay. So, we'll have stop recording now.